What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gio. And yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't made a video in a minute. I've just been really busy, wrapped up in things, but I finally am back home. Um, I visited California for spring break, but I'm back in New York City and I have a little bit of time, so I wanted to put out a video. And this week's video, I'm actually talking about something that I just accomplished and I just achieved. It's something that I feel like has changed my life and has um, really like attributed to my growth as a person. And um, you know, I don't know, I just am excited to share with you guys what that is. But yeah, let's get right into it. So for those of you who don't know or haven't been following, I recently, or I was doing the 75 day hard challenge. And if you guys don't know what the 75 day hard challenge, I actually got it from TikTok. I think it's like pretty popular on TikTok, but it's basically like a personal like development or like um, a personal growth challenge where there's like five rules if I'm not mistaken the first one is you have to do two 45 minute workouts a day you follow a diet um, you drink a gallon of water every day you take a progress pick every day and then you read 10 pages but that was like the original 75 day hard I actually tweaked um, mine a little bit based on like my current lifestyle. I did follow those rules, but I did add meditations for 20 minutes, I read more than 10 pages. I also drank more than a gallon of water every day. And because I live in New York City, it was really cold. So I couldn't do a second workout outside. So I just did night minute workouts at the gym. And then I would use my commute to school and work as like a workout too, because I walk four miles every day. But yeah, that is the challenge I just completed. I completed it yesterday and I wanted to share with you guys my whole journey and like kind of reflect and give you guys some tips and advice and talk about my whole journey throughout doing the 75 day heart challenge. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was a workout aspect. So I wanted to share my workout split. I wake up every morning at 4 a.m. and I'm at the gym by five and work out from the hours of 5 a.m. to 7. Workout split when I was doing the 75 day hard challenge was that on Mondays, I would do chest and back. I would focus on chest and back day. And then on Tuesdays, I would do my legs, my glutes, and my shoulders. And then on Wednesday, I would do biceps and biceps. And then I would repeat that same split um, until Sunday and on Sundays I would uh, do what's called active recovery where I run between three to four miles either on the treadmill or outside depending on the weather but yeah I wanted to talk about my workout split a little because it is a little unique every day when I go to the gym I always stretch for 10 minutes also like 20 25 minute um, core workouts every day I love to work out my core because it is an essential part of my body one of my goals to like develop my abs a lot and did that by just you know working them out every day for like 20 to 25 minutes and then yeah i go I'm on my splits for recovery i also like to use the sauna and steam room if you have access to that my gym doesn't have access to it i went back home to california the 24-hour fitness there they do have sauna and steam rooms and i love using that for recovery i also use what's called doTERRA. This, my cousin Erica actually gave me this as like a recovery if my muscles were sore. And I also do use a massage gun to like really get into the areas when I'm feeling really sore that day. It's basically my workout. Um, essentially, I do three workouts per muscle group. I usually count my sets. I usually do it till failure. And I progressively go higher during my sets. Something I did want to mention, uh, before I work out, I actually do take some workout supplements. So in the morning, I love to use creatine. Yeah, I use this creatine. I drink creatine. I use this pre-workout. I've seen this one for a while and it's pretty good. I liked Bucked Up. It gives me a lot of good energy. I also take L-theanine in the morning, which is supposed to help with like focusing. Um, I used to have a lack of focus and after taking the supplement, I think it really does help. I also take a daily vitamin in the morning before my workouts and I do not eat before my workouts. Um, I eat breakfast by the time I get to work in school. 
something I wanted to talk about was following a diet. Me, I actually found following this diet really easy. I really simplified it for myself. I didn't want to make things too complicated because I don't have the time to think about what to eat and where to eat and what food I should be eating. I, I just followed was high protein and low carbs and no sugar. But yeah, so when I followed this diet, I didn't want to like over I analyzed it, I wanted to simplify it to myself, so I actually just followed a diet that I did a bunch of research on, um, high protein, low carb, low sugar diet. So I usually have a bacon, egg, and cheese um, from the bodega by my worker school, and that's really cheap, it's only like $3 every time. But essentially what I eat every single day is a protein shake, this one is by Muscle Milk and has 40 grams of protein. And then this Oikos Pro, which has 20 grams of protein. So for lunch and dinner, I would have half a rotisserie chicken with five sausage links, three eggs, and um, pico de gallo on the side with sriracha and salad. I would eat that every single day. Um, I've eaten that every single day for the past 75 days. And uh, it's just something that was easy for me. I don't recommend you do it because I know a lot of people um, have a hard time eating the same meals every day. But for me, I don't have a problem with eating the same meal every day. I also don't have a lot of time since I'm in school and I work and I commute and I go to the gym. So I just wanted to have easy meals for me to be able to make, have ready. So during my grocery shopping trips, it would just be really easy. I will drink fiber at the end of the night, which brings me on to the next topic I want to talk about, which were the supplements I took during the 75 day hard challenge. On top of the workout supplements I did, these are the diet supplements I took. So the first diet supplement I actually wanted to share that um, I just started taking when I did the challenge was Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. This is supposed to help with your skin, hair, nail, and joint support. And I also do like red light therapy after 5 p.m. to help promote collagen in my skin after doing my skincare routine. I also take fiber because I don't get enough fiber in, so I usually take this every night. And then I also use calcium, which helps promote like strong um, bones. And I think calcium has really changed my life, especially because I picked up on running. I wanted my joints to feel strong and prevent any injury. So I uh, made sure to also take calcium. I also take what's called a B12 vitamin. Plumet is actually really useful for like brain cell function and it supports that so a lot of people have been told telling me to take b12 and ever since i took b12 it's actually made me more focused more aware and helps me in that aspect because i do have a hard time focusing sometimes and then i also take magnesium magnesium is so important if you take anything from this video i'll say that like you need to take magnesium some stat that said that like people in the united states are actually magnesium deficient i think magnesium is the one supplement i encourage everyone to take because Magnesium has really helped me with my sleep. I used to be a night owl to the T. I would sleep at like 3 or 4 a.m. But now I wake up at 3 or 4 a.m. and I go to sleep by like 9 or 10. Another part of the 75 day hard challenge aspect was drinking a gallon of water, which was pretty difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't like an avid water drinker. I only ever drink water, but it was hard for me to drink and digest water. But for Christmas, I actually got this like hydro flask thingy from my cousin and I decked it out with cool stickers from my other cousin who was really cool. She gave me a bunch of stickers. But I think having like a cool water bottle like this helped me stay accountable. Um, I will say I drank like four, bo four bottles of these of water every single day and I think that's equivalent to a gallon or a little more than a gallon. I'm not too sure but it definitely a gallon I've reached every day. And Drinking water was honestly so difficult for me until I got like a cool hydro flask and I decked it out with a bunch of stickers. I say it was very unique experience because um, I definitely got in trouble at work a lot because I would use the bathroom so much because I needed to pee like every five seconds. But yeah, that's something that they don't tell you about when you do this challenge is when you drink a lot of water, you're just gonna be in the bathroom like all the time and drink anything else besides water during this challenge. Um, I did have like some cheat days where I was craving like ice cream or cookies. 
um, but I would eat very minimal of it so I wouldn't like overindulge like I used to um, but that was just me following the diet the next aspect that I wanted to talk about was a progress pic you have to take a progress pic every day and it was honestly kind of difficult but I think after my workouts I just gotten so used to the being in a routine that I would just take a progress pic every time after I was done with my workout whether it be a run or a workout at the gym it was just easy for me I think if you're just used to going in the bathroom or the locker room after your workout uh, reminding yourself to take a progress pic wasn't that difficult so i think that part of that challenge wasn't that hard and it was actually really cool to see like the progress that i made throughout the 75 days and in the last 75 days i actually read four a total of four books which is insane to me because i used to never be a reader you guys i used to literally never read a book. I think there was a couple years where I just like never read and this year I have like fallen in love with reading and I'm part of a book club with all my friends and I just love reading. I feel like reading has allowed me to self-reflect and grow and mature and learn so many new things about the world and how to do stuff and I don't know, I just love reading and I would love to share the books that I read. So the first book that I read was actually called How to Do the Work by Nicole LaPera. And then the second book I read was You're a Badass by Jen Sincero. But the third book was called Creating Money, Keys to Abundance by Sonia Roman and Duane Packer. And the last book that I'm currently reading or I just finished reading was called The Courage to be Disliked by Fumataki Koga and Ichiro Kishimi. I feel like I butchered their names, but yeah, those were the four books that I read and all of them were kind of self-help books. I know in the original challenge it says to read like an entrepreneur book or whatever, but I just went with self-help books because I a lot of my friends are into self-help books so um, they put me on to the books that um, I was reading during out of this challenge. Shout out to my best friend, his name is Jed. He put me on to my favorite self-help book. It was How to Do the Work by Nicole LaPera. And that book completely changed my life. I read it at a really pivotal time in my life and it just taught me so much about myself and boundary setting and everything like that. But all of the books that I read were really amazing and I gained a lot from uh, reading all of them and I'm just so glad that I have all that knowledge now and now it's all about just applying the things that I've learned from reading those books and I think I'm just a really big fan of like self-help books now I guess but yeah those were the four books I've read another thing that I love to do too was um, meditate so I downloaded a bunch of meditations on Spotify I would plug my earphones in and I would I would meditate for 20 minutes and I think meditations that are also so important to do and also meditating has honestly changed my life so much and I'm just so grateful that I found it and I just feel a lot more enlightened, a lot more in tune with myself, a lot more connected to the universe and to my higher self and I'm just very grateful that I found meditating through this journey. That is pretty much my 75 day hard journey before doing the challenge I wanted to you know be a really disciplined person but I was always like procrastinating or lazy but I think that this aspect of doing a challenge really helps me and motivated me to um, stay disciplined and stay accountable so yeah I learned how to become more disciplined which I am very grateful for because I think you know as we get older um, or as I get older I want to build like a beautiful and big life for myself and I think that staying disciplined and learning discipline is really going to help me with that and it's a skill that I'm forever grateful for you know having. Setting boundaries for myself and learning how to do that, magnetism and just a lot of like manifestations that I had you know your manifestations will actually like come into light and then the last thing I wanted to share that I learned throughout this journey was that my relationships with my family and my friends are so important to me. I used to be so like wrapped up in like having the best career or being super super successful. I still am. I think I focus on my career a lot too but I also realized that you know my mom is getting older and my family my friends are you know they're moving in different places and people are getting married and having kids and there's a bunch of things that are happening to the people in my life and I just want to be able to um, you know cherish the moments that I do have 
um, with them and I do get to have with them. So I think the most important lesson that I've learned throughout this challenge is, you know, spending quality time with those people that are really important to you. What I really do care most about is spending time with the people that I love. But yeah, those were the lessons that I learned and those were some of the tips and tricks that I did. And this video inspired even just one person to go and out there and chase your dreams and try the challenge. I've learned so much and I've grown so much. I'm so happy to be who I am today. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And if you guys do decide to do the challenge, please let me know too. I would love to know how it went and keep me updated on how it's going. I'll be back with more videos, I promise. But until next time, my name is Gio and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.